Welcome everyone to the original conference championship game. There's simply nothing quite like the intensity when an SEC title is on the line. All the legendary players, the epic moments who have made their mark on this occasion. The intensity is simply unmatched. Can't wait for this one. There's a lot more at stake than a championship trophy here today. There's playoff positioning and potentially just getting into the playoff on the line as well. So the stakes have never been higher. We'll see the number four team in the country, the Mississippi State Bulldogs, taking on the 11th ranked team, the Auburn Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Auburn Tigers offense making their way on the field today. We'll see if this quarterback can get off to a great start. Kirk, so much for this offense and this whole team really orbits around him. Yes, sir. The de facto Mr. Center of the Universe. It's his world when he's out there. And it's up to him to create and orchestrate the details on the field. His team, his way. Can't wait to see what he does today. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. They don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. And you gotta love this if you're a defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time they got to him and forced that incompletion. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, he's gonna throw for the first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Burton. The defense stops him short of the mark, so now it's fourth down. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. They'll kick it away here. And they've got the returner corral. The Bulldogs offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk, but what do you expect from them today? They can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. On the ground, it's Davis. And the broken tackle there produces a solid game. Love those positive yards on first and ten. And it's only the first down. Looks like it'll bring second inches. But sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. We'll hand it off. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Sometimes I always get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do it. Receiver makes the grab. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Pass complete in second down now. Here's the handoff. Makes a nice move there. Looks like Mississippi State will have the first down. Look, I realize when any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. He makes the grab. And he's brought down after a big first down gain. And second and short, maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. Less than a yard to go as they come to the line on second down. Looking to pass, it's Barnett. And he pulls in the catch. Tackle made after a big game. 
Chris, to me, it looked like the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the ball from the time he got the snap. His receiver does a nice job of creating separation almost immediately on that corner route. On the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. It's a quick grab. You know, bring him down after a short gain. Moves the football inside the five. Oh, I love it. Keep the kicker on the sideline. This offense knows when you're in the red zone, you got to come away with six. Great play to keep this drive moving. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Catch made, but the defense gobbles him up for just a short game. A pretty good push up front here by this offense line to get some positive yards here. You wonder if they're going to be able to run it in, or they're going to have to spread this defense out and try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup to put the ball through the air for the touch. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Methodical but effective. They're probably one of the most impressive drives we've seen in a conference championship game. Hey, I have to agree with you. Long drives like that are like a great painting. Slowly layering all the intricate facets until you have a masterpiece completed. That drive was put together in the same fashion. Just masterful execution on that drive. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT makes it 7-0. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Bringing it out, it's Thompson. And he stopped at the 18, where Turner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. And the Auburn offense trots back onto the field. The last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Breaks a tackle on the play. Makes a decent game. You know, the good thing about this play is it's not an explosive play, but it really gives you a chance now to be able to pick up a first down here on this next play. Getting set. Here's second down. And the single back takes the handoff. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. They retain possession, but that's a huge loss. So after taking a closer look, the officials are going to overturn that previous ruling on the field. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. Try to catch the defense with the draw. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And the one team makes its way onto the field. How about the defense on this play right here? Because they go with a draw play to try to take an advantage of an aggressive defense. It's pinning their ears to get upfield. But instead, it's almost like the defense was expecting the run. They're not surprised at all to make a great play. And here comes the Mississippi State offense back out on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. Dropping back, it's Barnett. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield at the 48. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. Right, the defense has to pay attention to him. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this, and quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. The receiver looks it in. It's complete. They get it down, but not before he gets plus 38. Well, the quarterback has just too much time against this zone. There's not enough pressure to allow him to sit back and pick apart this zone defense. Takes the handoff. It's Davis. Been a decent game there for the defense brings him down. 
Pat on the hat up front. Good job opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Looks to the left. Pass caught. The defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of the first down. So now it's third and short in the third. Chance for the defense to make a play here and perhaps force a field goal attempt. They'll try to run for the first down. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Man, I love the toughness from this offense here on third down and short. Being able to get behind a big physical offensive line, they get a hat on a hat, get enough of a push, and the back is able to get behind there and find just enough real estate to pick up the first down. A quick tackle after the catch, but it's first and goal at the eight. This offense has become a first down machine, and that's so demoralizing for a defense, especially for those star players who don't sub out as much. But the fourth quarter really starts to wear you out. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield. He may go for a third or a fourth later today. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The kick sails through, so the lead is 14-0. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Well, they thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee and will bring the football to the 25-yard line. And the Auburn offense back out on the field. And they're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. And the wideout goes in motion. Keeping it on the ground here. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. But plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think they're going to run, maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun, handoff inside. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. So it's Mississippi State on top so far, Kirk. Solid performance so far, creating some separation. Here's the first quarter stats. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Solid game, moves the ball to a 43. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Looking to pass this time. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Breaks the tackle, gets into the clear. Explosive play, the game moves the ball all the way to the 30. This Auburn offense is moving quickly down the field. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. Only a small gain. Now looking at second and nine. Well, another short gain for this offense on the ground, and they've got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Offense getting set. Second down play here. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And that one produces a decent game. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Cut quickly. 
makes the defender miss. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. Offense getting set. It's second down. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front of the line of scrimmage. Not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. So now on comes the field goal. And it's good right down the middle. Now, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. He's tackled at the 10, not good field position to start the drive. The Mississippi State offense is back out there now. He scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop him this time. He makes the grab. Brought down to the 23. Good. got fooled here. They thought that receiver was going to go deep downfield. He ends up curling back to the inside for a nice game. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Quick throw. Catch made on the out route. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything seems to be working. The coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing, and frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Mississippi State getting set for the first and ten now. This defense has got to do a better job in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, and this offense could have 50 on you by the end of this game. First and ten now for the offense. Same tailback, another carry. Tackle made, but the game moves the ball to 30. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. First down, we're going to throw the ball. And he dumps it off to the tight end. Physical one earns the first down. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air and puts a lot of pressure on this defense. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Looking for some space. It's Davis. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Still no answer for this offensive machine. Chris, you think this guy, when he went to bed last night at the team hotel, thought he would score not one, not two, but three rushing touchdowns in one game? What a day. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Thompson. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field. Tough to win these games kicking field goals. They know they need to reach the end zone this time. A handoff from the shotgun. The game is five, so it's second and five now. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? 
He hands it off from the gun. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. The important third down play coming up. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. It's a short completion at the big tight end. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Fresh set announced for the offense. First down. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback, and then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Completion makes it second down. And he'll set up to throw. Slags a quick throw. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Good job here to be able to get a foot down. That was awfully close to being out of bounds, but no, he's in. It's third down for the offense. Looking to throw again. Here's an easy completion to the back out of the backfield. And they wrap him up, and the game is good enough for a first down. Chris, sometimes the quarterback's just trying to find the open guy and get him the ball. It's exactly what he's able to do here. Found a way to pick up the first down. This Auburn offense is moving quickly down the field. That's the two-minute warning. Let's see if this offense can do something before the break to cut into this big lead. First down here for this offense. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. He'll take a deep shot here. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Quarterback drops back. Pass caught. Can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn. Love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. They make the extra point, but trail 21-10. The kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes the Mississippi State offense back out on the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. They bring him down, but the sophomore quarterback shows what a cannon he has. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Back to pass. It's Barnett. Tries the right with a quick throw. He's a wide open receiver, complete. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. And looking to throw now on first down. And he's got his man open downfield. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, and they're just playing very efficiently right now. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Good job of the defense to fight through the blocks on that screen. He's short of the first down marker. You can see what the offense is trying to do here with this screen play, but they avoid disaster by at least getting a few positive yards. The defense doing a great job of anticipating the screen here. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. Makes a quick grab. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. So the offense leaking out for 
building the lead, and this one could get out of hand. Well, it's just a complete domination. The offense is executing and doing their job, putting points on the board. The defense has shown up prepared, ready to play. It just feels like this game's getting sideways in a hurry. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime with the touchdown. Now they kick off in hopes the defense can get a quick stop. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. They'll start from the 25. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field now. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. Caught over the middle, it's Burton. The timeout is called a big stage late here in the second quarter. The completion makes it second and short. On the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. They try a downfield shot. That's a good effort there. But now it's third down. Well, Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. It's off the incompletion. It sets up a third down and three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Short pass finds the tight end. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains first down. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show me he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows me he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. behind the line. It's Simmons. The offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. But they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. That completion makes it second and medium. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Looks to the left, and it's complete. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. The offense will now quickly spend a timeout. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Looking to throw it on first down. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. That completion sets up a second down play. Here we go. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Running out of time in the pocket. And he's brought down, sacked. Excellent way for the defense to end this first half with momentum. the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Chris, for many, this is the best conference in all of football. 
and the first half of this SEC championship was filled with excitement and incredible pageantry. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Receiver makes the catch. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. So a very makeable third down for the offense with a 29. Try and muscle for the first down. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. How impressive these guys have been up front today. Big third down. Know what you need to do. Get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much in the game there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back, it's Barnett. The pass is intercepted. Look out, he's got some space. Touchdown, Tigers! Wow, what a play, a defensive score. And a pick of six, a monster play by this defense here. That defender showed a lot of athletic ability there with the Got me on that one. I thought he was covering the deep pass, my bad. Watching that, thought about maybe giving him some reps as a returner after that touchdown. UT is good, makes it an 11 point game, 28 17. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And here's the return from inside the five. Be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes the Mississippi State offense back out on the field. It'll be interesting to see if this quarterback can bounce back and do a pick six in the last possession. They pressure him and sack him to be tackled inside the 10. Chris, how about the combo there of speed and power to be able to get to the quarterback here by this defensive lineman? Auburn defensive lineman, one thing you can always count on is they have speed and they have an awareness to know how to pressure that quarterback. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football and it brings up a third down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. And it's complete downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunky yardage on the play. Mississippi State getting set for the first and ten now. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. Here's the second down play. Looking to chuck it again. Catch made on the out route. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. Well, that's a nice completion to the sideline with great timing. The connection between the receiver and the quarterback was on full display to be able to get that first down. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid game here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down after that previous play. Back to pass. It's Barnett. Quick throw to his receiver. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Hard out of bounds, but it's another big game. This air attack, no problem moving the ball up and down the field today. 
Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Couldn't quite get in. Tackled down at the two-yard line. Excellent run. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of it. First and goal, handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. It is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line. Eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. Linebackers making some adjustments now. It's a second and goal play for the offense. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Let's see what they can do here. Third down and goal from the one. And they're trying to punch it in here. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Mississippi State. So the offense flexing, Kirk, and stretching the lead here now in the second half. Well, you can catch your breath here a little bit if you're this offense. That touchdown can help you out. But now your own defense can help you preserve the lead so you can go back out and continue to build upon that to the finish. And the BAT makes the lead 18-35-17. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. And the Auburn offense trots back onto the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. And the ball to the ground. It's a turnover. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's an out route. The catch made. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And this one is getting ugly. That's a crucial touchdown, Kirk. The offense adding its lead now here in the second half. Yeah, you get into this second half, you start to count possessions and how big your lead is. Now that you're up two possessions, you can start to play really smart football, not just on offense, but on defense as well. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Bringing it out, it's Thompson. Tackled at the 13, not great field position to start the drive. And the Arbor offense back out on the field. And fumble in the last possession set up a touchdown. And they bounce back from that costly error here. Gets the first and still running. Brought down after a solid run by the senior. Man, that is an impressive run here by this back. Not only to be able to pick up those big yards, but what I'd love to see is the middle toughness. This guy put the ball on the ground the last time he had it. The coach doesn't shy away from getting the ball very next time out, and he delivers with a big game. The offense will set up on first and ten. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Now from the pistol formation. Get set, get set. One back in the backfield, and he'll get the carry. He make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. I'd love to see this from this running back. Let's not forget the last time they were out, he put the ball on the ground, but he has a short memory. Comes back out next time, gets the ball in his hands, delivers with a big time run on this drive. Auburn getting set with a first and ten coming up. It. 
the offense with some pre-snap eye candy. Off the play fake on first down. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Second down after the incompletion. And the quarterback dropping back, bringing pressure. And he cannot escape defense with a sack. That takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Sack makes it third down. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Running back grabs it on the screen. Great move there. And the tackle is made. The defense was ready for that screen. They stop him short of the first down. Boy, it's third and forever. Defense sits back on what I would almost call like a prevent defense, trying to avoid the big play, and it nearly cost him. This running back picks up a lot of yards, almost thought he might pick up the first down. We still do have a fourth down, but at least it's more manageable. And a fourth down, they'll punt it away here. Returner decides to fair catch this. The Mississippi State offense is back out there now. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. And the defense makes some adjustments, come up with a stop here. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. They'll run it from the gun. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. Moves the ball to 25, good enough for the first down. Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Delay of game. Offense. Quarterback lost track of the play clock. And that'll cost the offense five. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Here we go. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Base, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. So this defense finally makes a play that's one of the few negative plays for this offense today. Yeah, you said it, Chris. They don't have the easiest road to climb back in this one, but little... There's a fastball, but it's intercepted. He's got some room and some blockers here. It's a great return following the pick, but finally able to get him down. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a... Did I go from fucking completing every fucking pass without a problem to now I'm severely underthrowing everything? First down, looking to throw the football. Makes a quick catch. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Now you back behind the quarterback, aligned in a pistol. So it's Mississippi State on top so far, Kurt. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. So 
one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. They look to throw it here on second down. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Auburn. The defensive penalty is declined. Offense very happy to take the result of that play. Here's the point after attempt. And he knocks it right through. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. He'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen. But that's good coverage there. First down here for this offense. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. difficult as possible for you to run the football so nice job there by the defense they're trying to punch that ball out do anything they can at all to get the ball back what throw away there gave up on the play but now it's going to bring up third down back to throw it's barnett oh but he could not haul it in a third down drop brings up fourth now and here comes the punter onto the field Chris, I just don't know about this call. I like the aggressive approach, but at this point, late in the game, playing with the lead, third down and long, if you run the ball. Yeah, well, Herb Street, you fucking tired. I can't run the ball, and they're running my routes for me again. So, I mean, this is fucking typical EA AI. You know, I do whatever I fucking want, and then all of a sudden, I can't run the ball, so that's why I'm fucking throwing it, you stupid fucking dumbass. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Look at him out throwing here to start the drive. He's running out of time here. Pass caught. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. I really like what this defense. Sorry, I think I said receivers. The defense is running my routes for me. So I go back to throw, and they're just running all my routes for me, and I can't throw anywhere. Also, throw a fucking interception. So that clock will keep ticking. And he's got it. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Great execution here by this offense against zone coverage with a curl route. Hit that last step in your drop. You see where you want to go with it. Put it right on his shoulder for a first down. I'm first and ten here looking to throw the ball. Makes the catch downfield. They tackle him, but the game... Here, go, here comes the 21 point fucking fourth quarter. Here it fucking comes. Back to throw again. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds a soft spot on the curl and picks up a first down. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And they score, but there is a penalty mark on the field. Let's find out if this one's going to count. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Second down play coming up for this offense. And the back gets the football. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. It'll be a 34-yard try. And it sails right through the middle of the uprights. Solid kick. 
I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Mississippi State offense back out on the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Receiver makes the grab. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving his defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try it five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. That completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Looking to throw. It's Barnett. Makes a spectacular diving catch. Tackle made with the sophomore quarterback showing us the arm strength. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call and just keep working that clock. And here's the handoff. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Now you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job at eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. That's going to be incomplete. A first down drop here in the middle of the field. Now it's second down here. Hand off to the back. Pickup is six yards of third down and four down. Seventh play of the drive coming up. It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. Catch made on the left side. And he picks up the first down. Tackled up to 32. Well, why not, Chris? Here we are in the fourth quarter. It's third down. This guy's been making plays all game long. Go back to him again, and it works out. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And that's a solid game from the defense able to bring him down. That's exactly how you want to start this drive, working with the lead in the fourth quarter. Take as much time off this clock as possible. That's a great way to get this drive started. They'll run it here. And tackled after a small pickup there. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. To throw, it's Barnett. Looking for the wide out. He's got it right near the end zone. They finally tackle him down at the one after that catch and run. First down and goal here. A touchdown just about puts this game on ice. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Mississippi State. To stretch the lead, the route is on. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. And he knocks through the PAT. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fielded in the end zone. It's Thompson. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's when the offense will take over. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field now. They settled for a field goal last time out. They're looking for the end zone here, no doubt. It's a quick grab. Tackle made on the play at the 29-yard line. Big guys up front, lined up. It's first down. Hey, it's positive yards, right? That, that's never a bad thing. But let's face it. These guys got a long way to go in a short amount of time to do it. So let's get the ball downfield and let's get out of bounds and try to preserve that clock. And it's incomplete even in a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. So after the incompletion, it's second down.
There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. There's a screen pass to the running back. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Looking to throw yet again. Defense is coming after him. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game. And an intercepted, picked off by the defense. Big takeaway. Look at that. He's still going. And look at the return after the interception. Sets the offense up in good shape. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. As the first down is still going. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And they'll keep it on the ground, trying to run some clock. Oh, what a juke. Gets three now. Brought down, but not before shaking off the first defender and picking up the first down. Mississippi State in the red zone now. There's the handoff. He's got some room. Can he get there? Also out of bounds, close to the end zone. And you know, I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage. They've given a quarterback time to throw. They've been able to run, really, whatever they've wanted to. That's why the points are going up on the board. Right now, the psyche this offense is, we're in control, and we can do whatever we want, whenever we feel like doing it. Got it. Ah. There's the snap, and he just takes a knee. Looks like he didn't get the snap off in time. That'll cost him five yards. Delay of game. game. Offense. Offense. Quarterback unaware of the play clock. That'll cost them five. Sorry about that. Was grabbing a snack. Offense getting set Thought up. Thought it might be Here's back by down. <laughs> and it's a kneel down. Okay. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. Wow, what a tremendous run these guys have had. And now they can call themselves champions of the SEC. That's one of the most difficult titles to earn in this sport. And now with the playoff looming, we can find out how they fare against the 11 other best teams in the nation. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.